Big thanks to EA for sponsoring this video. The 2023 Formula 1 season is just a couple of weeks away, but if, like me, you're itching to see those cars buzzing around the circuits of the world ahead of that, then Codemasters and EA have a treat for you. Right now, available in-game as part of the latest patch to F1 22, you can take the brand new Alfa Romeo out for a spin in time trial mode. Even better, Codemasters and EA have issued a challenge. Take the new car around the Bahrain circuit and set the fastest lap you can, then post it on your social media of choice with that aforementioned hashtag. No restrictions, anyone can join in this challenge regardless of skill level, whether you're a seasoned veteran or a brand new player. To demonstrate this, I've done three laps of the circuit in the new car myself. One with the keyboard, one with the gamepad, and finally one with my peripheral of choice, the wheel. Here's how they went. Starting off then with the keyboard lap. This one was difficult. I'm not sure if there are many or even any players that play with keyboard controls for racing games, but after trying this, I've found a newfound respect for those that do. I of course used full traction control and ABS for this one to give myself the best possible chance of actually completing the lap. I found it very difficult to modulate my inputs on a keyboard, as you might be able to tell from some of the telemetry, and it did take me a couple of laps to get the car to stay between the white lines. However, when I did, it was actually quite surprising how smooth it felt. Playing totally with one hand was an interesting experience for sure, but I managed to finish the whole lap and cross the line in 131.589, a perfect baseline as I moved on to the gamepad. Next up is the lap with a controller. Like many, this was my starting point with racing titles, though over the years I've become less and less adept with the gamepad so this one worried me almost as much as the keyboard lap did. I once again used full traction control to keep things pointing in a straight line. The pad lap was far smoother and I actually managed to crack it out in a single lap unlike both other attempts which took a couple of laps to dial in. Being able to slowly increase throttle and steering made things so much easier than with the keyboard, especially for the hairpins. And this shows in the lap time. After just one flying lap of the Bahrain International Circuit in the new Alpha, I crossed the line in 130.345. Finally, the lap with the wheel. By far my most comfortable way to play, and breaking out the old Thrustmaster meant I could tweak the assists a little, dropping to medium traction control and manual gearing. Immediately I could obviously feel the difference from jumping to the wheel and turning these down. 
giving me much more control over the way the car reacted and having the option to short shift was so much better, though it did give me less time to look at the front of this gorgeous new car just because of the amount of inputs I had to manage. It also took me a couple of attempts to dial in just as the keyboard lap did, but once that was done, I crossed the line in 129.484, my fastest lap of the three. So there we are, three laps on three different controllers, and if you want to try for yourself with your controller of choice, then download the latest update, hop into time trial around Bahrain, and post your time to social media using hashtag alpha challenge. Can you beat my time? Let me know in the comments if you got around faster than I did and which peripheral you used. Once again, a big thanks to EA for sponsoring this video. A big thank you to everyone watching. My name has as always been Paul Zytrix B. And remember, drive safe.